What is up, folks? Welcome to another edition of Billy the Kid's No Bullshit Toy Reviews. And today, we are taking a look at Transart BWM07 Metal Mouse. This is Masterpiece Scaled Trans Metal Rat Trap. And he's gorgeous. He is amazing. His legs, these are all die cast. All right, that, that right off the bat gives him weight. Now, he's standing just fine, okay? He comes with a weighted stand that you would tab right into these slots in the back to give you an added boost um, in regards to letting him stand and do whatever the hell you want him to do. So it's not needed, but it gives you a free range of incredible posing. He comes with his blaster. It pegs in traditional MP style, tabs right in, and you close his hand, and you've got it. Inside of his forearms are his bombs, his, what do you call them? I think, called like belly bombs or something. And uh, let's see if I can get a focus on that. They're highly detailed, they're very small, and they are not painted but he's got one in each of his forearms. So that is pretty cool. He comes with these pieces here, which connect to each, as I pull these off, each of these that separate, and they allow him to hold this as a shield if need be. So, very nicely done with that accessory. So now, pop that right back on. We're gonna call that a day. He comes with these two blast effects, which plug into these tailpipes once he's in mouse mode or rat mode or vehicle mode, whatever. He comes with a very large bendy tail. And all these pieces just kind of plug together. Nothing's really um, permanent, I guess we'll say, in regards to the tail. So he's got a large bendy tail and he's got a die cast sword tail. He can only hold his tail sword in his right hand. does not fit in his left but his gun is universal so you can arm him to the teeth if you would like he's beautiful very well made here's your side view your back view and if you notice he has his backpack the way it was in the cartoon not the way the old toy was Paint apps are gorgeous. The silver and the blue are just beautiful the way they pop. Uh, this is die cast that isn't painted. It just is metal. And that's why it looks a little different than the silver here. Gun metal on its crotch. Uh, the brain is a bright orange. But I mean, he stands out. He's beautiful. He's done very well. Let me just take these out of his hands. And just so you guys can feel a little bit at home, here he is with Masterpiece Dinobot, and he scales up just fine. They look really, really good together. I think that just works. As for the posability on this guy, most importantly, his head tilts. So he has a ton of character in his head just from the ball joint alone. His mouth opens and closes. They sculpted his tooth in there. If you take a look, his face sculpt is just incredible. It's really beautiful. Head looks up, head kind of looks down, tilts full 360. If you lift these pieces up, the arms come up this much 
it's on a ball peg so you can get your 360 degree rotation and there's a ball peg holding this in so it gives you a butterfly there's a bicep swivel that gives you plenty of rotation and you've got double jointed elbows wrist rotates fingers close they're on one single pin here and the thumb doesn't move pull this up you've got let me take this off it's a little easier there's a waist rotation and there's one hell of an ab crunch And again, we're on ball sockets here, so full Van Dam is definitely an option. The legs are die cast, so sorry if it takes a minute for me to get these working. He kicks all the way up. He does not kick all the way back. The backpack hinders that. You've got a knee swivel and a double bend at the knee for a ton of bend. Feet come down, feet go up, feet rock. Okay, so posability is not an issue with this guy. Um, I think that you're going to get some toy photographers like D Amazing that are just going to blow your mind with the photography they're going to be able to uh, pull off with a figure like this. Because look at me, I'm not a professional, and this pose just looks great. Um, I dig the robot mode. It works very well. I think that TransArt knocked it out of the park in regards to the robot mode. I am going to transform him into his rat, and we'll talk about that next. All right, here is Rat Trap in his beast mode. And as you can see, I, I put him in this position here, this kind of standing position, so you could see that he has a underbelly. Uh, they did a very good job hiding most of the robot parts. The only visible parts is his ass and thighs and hips when you lift his head up here. So, very nicely done. Um, only complaint with this mode is the fact that the tail doesn't like to stay pegged in. Let's just set him up a little better. And there he is. He looks great. His head looks up, tilts a little bit. His mouth opens and his tongue is uh, movable. Very tight, but movable. So there's a lot of character in his uh, face alone. The vac metallic paints, beautiful. Again, this tail is bendy wire, so very poseable. He's got a ball joint here at the foot. So you, there's no limits in regards to what you can do there. There's a little bit of a bend at the, um, I guess we'll call it knee. And you've got a movable situation going on here at the shoulder, uh, ball joint and a swivel. The feet bend up and down and they move in and out. And there's a knee here as well. So very, very poseable for a former brick is how i'm going to pose that he looks great he looks really good in his beast mode i'm going to put him in his vehicle mode we'll talk about that next and i'll give you my final thoughts all right here's rat trap in his vehicle mode and uh he looks good he rolls just fine these uh flaming gimmicks for his tailpipes are fantastic um, this piece here is supposed to go on and sit right in here and it would allow it, it plugs in the Dinobot's hole in his ass in his asshole but I can't for the life of me and and I've I've fucked around with this thing for over a half an hour I can't get it to work I just can't it's not working for me so this gimmick I don't know. It, this piece doesn't fit in. It doesn't snug in. It's too big 
or too loose. I, I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't go in. So for me, this amazing gimmick doesn't work. All right. So that, I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I, I mess with it. I can't figure it out, but he looks great. I'm not going to display him this way anyway. He's going to go right on his bot mode on my shelf. Um, this figure is probably the most intuitive project that TransArt's put out. They made major changes to the transformation to give us a backpack that was show accurate, and I applaud them for it. The materials are very good. I'm not going to say great because I do have minor gripes, and they're not at that masterpiece level yet. I'm just being honest. It's a great figure. It's great. I love it. And I think it's worth every penny. However, there's minor gripes. Uh, this eats away at me. You know, no matter how many times I put it in, the tail just comes right out. Uh, that's something that should have been fixed prior to the release. Uh, there are little sliders here for his feet for when you want to put him into his rat mode. And they tend to pop out for me. Um, small little inconsistencies but other than that i, I think he's great I, I think you will be happy with the money spent i don't think you're going to feel ripped off i think that transart did a wonderful job updating a very old mold and i think that in the at the end of the day you're going to be happy with your purchase i got mine from shozy store check them out in the link below as always check out my sponsor saint mark's comics down in the link below to my Patreons. Thank you for your continued support and belief in my channel. If you like what you see, please give me a like and subscribe. This is Billy the Kid signing off.